All right, we're uh, just about ship shape ready to go. Nora's working, because she has to work all the time. But Mehul and I, oh, sorry, <laughs> right as you turned, are, uh, are available. And um, we have just about everything prepared. Um, so yeah, we're going to roll out of here in a few seconds. Bye, Santa Rosalia. And hello, an exciting evening of dodging wind, which is not usually what we do. We've left Santa Rosalia now, but it has not left us. It's just right there still. Um, we've been sailing for just shy of an hour and uh, we're motoring very, very slowly. Tonight is our big sailing puzzle night where we are trying to get somewhere as close to seven without being early as possible. And that somewhere is the edge of the wind wall that I filmed on my computer earlier. So we're just going to be keeping an eye on the weather, keeping an eye on our position, um, rebuilding routes, and rerunning the statistics on uh, what our likelihood of being where when looks like. I'm hoping that that doesn't include a lot of intentionally putting myself out of the wind and therefore motoring the entire time. And so that's, that's where it starts to become a little bit more of a game of trying to go the right speeds to be in just the right place, not just not in the wind. Because we want, we want some wind, we want a sail, we just don't want too much wind where we have to put tons of reefs in the sails and deal with, uh, yeah, heavy wind events. Because there's some areas ahead of us, if we hit them wrong, where we would see 30 knot gusts. And that's, yeah, that's where everything really starts to get unpleasant. So we're just gonna have to see what happens. Goodbye, son. First night of probably two for this trip, oh. I'm guessing most likely. Oh. Most likely, most likely two nights. Maybe something happens that we go fast tomorrow and manage to get someplace where you can put the anchor down, but I'm not super expecting to. I also bet that when it comes up, everybody's gonna vote to keep going and skip uh, San Frisquito San, San Francisquito Ay, uh, I say it wrong one way or another way <laughs> you can't really get it right um, but yeah I think we're probably going to end up skipping there when we all start deciding if it's the, the move or not and uh, go to the midriffs in which case would probably add an evening but we'll see he swam away but I hope he comes back his fin came out. Oh, I okay. saw his That's face. That's what I've been seeing for a long time, and I was like, why? why? What is this? You sure it wasn't a ray? I'm so positive. That guy there? Yes, it must be. Yeah. Oh, come on, come back. I looked him right in the face. Turn the prop off. Sure. Did you do that? And switch sides, looks like. Ah, oh, too bad. That's curious. such a tease if it disappeared right now. That's there. Motherfucker. This shark is never going to get close enough for me to show you. It's kind of an exercise in madness. But it's really cool. sun now, but, uh, oh man, it was a complicated night last night. There was 
Um, just a lot of extra wind, and then it was really a wall. Like, I would be in no wind, then 10 knots, then 17 in a span of 15 minutes. So, um, I ended up having to go southeast for quite a while, and uh, then adjust in from there. Um, so we just tacked about 15 minutes ago, it was like 5.15, um, and so in the end I probably rode it out just a little bit too long, and I could have tacked a bit earlier to stay in some slightly higher wind and not have gone south like I did, but I'm really happy not to have been in the um, really, really high wind. And so now we are well on track, maybe even a little teeny tiny bit behind um, to make sure that we miss the big wind, but um, we're definitely well on track to be north of where the big wind comes out of before the next day. Uh, before the, the, the wind events are happening um, from like late afternoon, like 4.45 in the afternoon until around 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning um, and so we will be arriving to where the worst wind happens probably around 8 or 9 a.m. and then oh, we're speeding up presently and uh, we'll be through the zone of where the the worst really high wind happens I'd say by noon and so that'll be plenty of time to be out of the way before tonight's big high wind starts and uh, we'll just be somewhere north on the chiller leftovers of that wind instead of getting our ass kicked by it. I guess we'll just have to see what happens. Absolutely superb morning. We got like 12 to 17 knots, and for a lot of the night, we were going, well, I guess early morning. For a lot of the early morning from like 3 a.m. on, we're going about six knots, making real progress, which is good because we're trying to outrun some wind. I'll tell you, it feels uh, real, real good to not be racing anymore. We, um, we had to beat the wind, and we did. Um, we actually caught up to the wind for a second, and I adjusted it last night, but uh, now we're going slow, going easy, probably a little bit slower than we'd like to be going, but like over two knots and on course, we're chilling. Um, and uh, so yeah, we're north of any kind of big wind risk. And now it's just about destinations again, and uh, we've got San Francisco um, around the corner, but we're kind of hoping to jet past that. We could probably get to San Francisco like mm, midnight tonight, um, but I think what we're hoping instead to do is get to somewhere in the Midriff Islands um, in like the early morning tomorrow instead. One more night. Something very strange dead ahead. Is it like that boil of white water? Yeah. Yeah. Is it gone I think now? it's. No, I saw it earlier. I think it must be fish. Because mm. oh, yeah, I saw some it. small splashes within it. We are suddenly in this really loud patch of just hella birds. Lots of different kinds, too. Sunrise coming into our first anchorage in Baja California. I always want to call it Baja California del Norte, but it isn't. You just take off the sur. That's all that there is. Fairly pink sunrise. It's purple mountains, majesty, that kind of stuff.
Wind that we haven't had all night is suddenly here right now, uh, giving us a little push as we come, but uh, it's gonna be time to take down the main anyway. And um, let's, give this, let's give this reef even a little bit more room. We don't have a lot charted here. Everything everywhere is all flies. It's just flies. Ah, why? I don't know if you can see the cloud, but they're just everywhere. They're in every direction. Oh my God. We keep thinking there's gonna be a better time of day and it just keeps getting worse. There's also weird tadpole things in the water. It's fly down. We haven't been able to escape them at all, not one. Little itty bitty teeny tiny bitsky. It's fucking miserable. It really is. So funny, these little tadpole things. I have no idea what those are. Get off of me. Get away from me. Holy shit. You guys, I don't know what to do. It's so fucking horrible out there. It, it's really the worst. We're gonna go face these bugs here in a second. See if we can't see these caves. We're hoping that sunset is not their time since mid noon was, but not feeling super lucky. This has been the fly apocalypse. Oh, God. Do you have water, Nora? No. surface looks like that. I feel like we have to look like crazy people like there's no way these flies are picking up on camera but no. they are everywhere. <laughs> fuck them, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> They've been all over us all day long. It's really exhausting. I guess they're bobos. Look at my feet. Look. Oh, they flew away. I would have called they're these everywhere. fruit flies. They're just tiny little itty bitty flies and they're everywhere. And they don't bite but they climb on you and bang. They're disgusting. They're really gross. I'm exhausted of them. Warriors in the War of the Flies. We keep thinking that we're gonna get out of Flytown and then we find Flytown part two, the revenge of so many more flies. But these ones are smaller. I guess that's better. It's a dramatic place, it really is. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Hey guys. We're cool, we're cool. Kind of menacing the way they went under. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was. I also can't tell. There they are. Is that them? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's them. Okay. Here they are. <laughs> Let's speed up. And go, go straight at the rock. Yeah, we're not one. I think they're looking for food, but still, but don't really food. want to. Say, we're not. They're not thinking about us as food. They either want us to stay away from the rock, or they think we have fish for them. Because I bet you the fishermen bring tourists here and feed the sea lions. Oh, we got some babies there, I think. Aren't those no. on top I there? Think adolescents. Adolescents. Yeah. Kids. 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 That one on the very top looks pretty small. <laughs> what a pile of sea lions. That's really funny. Or, or, or. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 
there is a big daddy over there. Oh man. Man, that one is so big compared to the other ones. That's really crazy. Yeah. Well, that was super fun.